Hello. So, uh, a few things have happened. Some good and some bad. Um, let's talk about them as I make a new character. <laughs> oh, we're going to disable all that. Um, let me, let me make a new character. Uh, I debated starting the series over from scratch, and I'm sure some of you might prefer that. But what are you doing here? I'm gonna do Trukin. We're gonna raise all the sets to zero. Um, so, uh, the, the game was updated. Um, which is good. With some new features. The bad part is I, I was on the beta and um, being on the beta means that when a new version comes out, uh, which again is a good thing, um, your 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 save is no longer uh, compatible with <laughs> with the latest version. Um, so I mean that's bad. But um, what I've done is I'm no, no longer on the beta. I'm on a specific version of CUD. If things are bad or if things need to change then I will change them. I will update. Um, I'm gonna go with night vision. So we're basically rebuilding. Um, so last time I picked a name here, it didn't seem to do much. Uh, let's go with like, uh, I don't want, I, I want a name I can reliably pronounce. Vitra? Uh, let's just go with uh, Frankie. Um, fans of One Piece will understand. Um, save this character to build your library. Give the cyborg. Sorry. Also, so sorry for the sounds in the background. This happens from time to time. Okay. So, uh, th 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 there is actually good news. Um... I did a second episode of um, the the character we were working on, and uh, it, basically, it didn't record. It recorded like two and a half minutes. Now I was going to. Oh yeah. Okay. There we go. Uh, I was I was going to play this off. I was going to do a montage, and. And, and basically, you know, oh, don't worry, guys. I, you know, cut to an hour later um, so that, you know, you guys don't have to see me grind, even though I accomplished many things like finding, you know, uh, an engraved weapon with some cool history. And, you know, I killed some stuff and leveled up and found, you know, finally made it to Red Rock. All of those good things. But don't worry, I, I've spared you those those things um, so that we can, you know, we can focus on the good stuff, which is me closing the game and then finding out my save is incompatible. That's the good part. Um, these, uh, this is, this is my, my mistakes. Make no mistake. <laughs> oh, that's right, we... As a true kin, we get some very wonderful things. We get to... The true kin feels overpowered sometimes, because you basically get to start at level 2 or 3. Because they give you, like, a bunch of weapons and grenades and useful things. So, you know, uh, we're going we're gonna to talk to this guy. And instead of just accepting his first quest, quest we're, we're going to complete first quest because we have we have uh many trinkets we don't want to give him anything good like a salve injector those are good um but like a fungicide grenade yeah i'll give that away maybe the fungicide grenade is a very good thing but i find it is very dangerous because i, I don't like being fungicide so we're then gonna give him something else let's give him a poison gas grenade so we've completed the quest. We're at level two. Uh, oops, I shouldn't have skipped that. I'm sorry. 
Uh, I'm on the cusp of a grand discovery. When I'm done assembling the weird wire conduit, you'll be able to speak to anyone from here to Caiaphas. First, though, I'm going to need some copper wire, as much as you can find, at least 200 feet. You should be able to scavenge enough from the west rust wells in nearby caves. So this guy gives you good like quests that are actually easy to complete. Um, there's a f you know a few things you do when you start um, Cud. Uh, that is, if you start from Joppa, or Joppa, uh, is you accept basically three quests. Um, the one uh, you accept one to find some like weird purple quivering thing in red rock you have to go and bring a corpse you complete uh whoops i want to talk to you oh did i already accept this quest do i do, did i already like mindlessly accept this quest uh tinkering quests Yes, I did. Um, you accept the pilgrimage to the Six Day Stilt, uh, journey to the far northwest through the Great Salt Desert, and visit the Mechanimist Cathedral and Merchant Bazaar. Um, you accept a quest to find a trinket and then another trinket, and then you uh, accept the uh, find the critters in the Red Rock. These three quests are the backbone of Jopa, um, and they give you a, a, a very large like incentive to go out and explore and you know hopefully level up and and not die and then you look at the shrine of the shrine to reshef you do this every time i i will never find out who reshef is because i'm not very good at this game but um you know maybe one day maybe that's the goal for this um this so far very poorly produced uh let's play of cud and then we look at this one, which is an, a random shrine. This is always a different shrine. Uh, depix, depicts a significant event from the life of the ancient sultan Nayuduk. Nayudokt. Uh, deep in Ikawar, Nayudokt discovered old Nar. There he befriended antelopes and dug into the earth's strata. Strata means something specific. Uh, I'm not sure what it means. Uh, I, th I think it's... I think maybe it isn't something specific, maybe it's just like the Earth's crust. But it's there there's apparent there's a lot of literal depth um to cud. There uh the 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 you know, the underground um it extends quite quite deep. And uh there's actually a little a little bit a, a lot of lore buried down underneath there. There's robots and Things kind of get more and more vicious as you descend um, into into Cud's like labyrinthine cave system. Um, it's something I hope to do one day, but it's not the goal. It's not my goal. My goal, uh, just a reminder to yourself and I, um, is let me see here. All right, I can't look at the map. Is to um, venture into the Chrome. Uh, steeple? What is it? Hold on a second. Let me try and remember the the onus. The spindle. Omen, omen porch. Through the prismatic umbrage fly the archways and buttresses of the monuments above the catacombs of the eaters of the earth. It, it's a dangerous place. I... I don't know if it's like the final resting place of Cud. If it's where you go, um, oh, I'm lost. Very good. Um, it, you know, the ending of Cud, the place you go when you've done all other things, when you've triumphed over much of the uh, wilderness of Cud. Let's rest until healed. Um, but you know, it's. It's where I want to go. It's it, to me. I mean, you know, you give me a large spindle off in the distance. Um, this you know very ominous monument. Uh, 
I I think end game. You know, I generally think, well, that's where I'm gonna go, where where I need to go, and it's the first thing the game tells you when you when you start playing. It tells you about the, you know, star spangled, not star spangled sky. What what am I saying? Um, you know, it it gives you like a a little bit of fluff to kind of immerse you in the world, and then it tells you about this. You know, off in the distance, there's this spire that kind of looms over you. And that's where I think I'm going to go when I've when I've conquered all. So that was a little bit dangerous, and there's another amoeba. The amoebas are pretty dangerous. Strangely, I don't know why. It's already nighttime. You can tell it's nighttime when things start to go green because I have night vision. Um, so, you know, that, that's my goal. Um, my, my other goal, my, you know, just miniature goal is that I'd like to, I'd like to build a small audience, um, that, you know, appreciate the stories that are told, uh, completely, you know, generated by Cud. And, you know, hopefully also bring some more attention to this game. I, I mentioned, I have mentioned before, like, why... Oh, we're in baboon territory. That's not good. Um, oof. We're getting, we're having rocks thrown at us. I have mentioned why your health drop. Okay, we have to run. We have to flee for our lives. Okay, good. Um, why why I love this game I mean it, it's really just the immersion quality of this game for me is is very high um, I have played quite a few um, you know roguelikes traditional roguelikes and I mean I'm not gonna say that cut is the most immersive but it certainly is one of the highest production value like immersions for a roguelike it, it, it tries very hard to put you in this world and I feel like it succeeds I you know I feel like you really get to know this world um, and yet it's this world is different every time you play it it's it's the same but different okay we're gonna murder uh oh time to run maybe am I bleeding I might die here Oh, fuck. Okay, um... Badly wounded. Let's take a chance. We succeeded. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> I'm sure I caught everyone off guard there by swearing, but it really was spooky. We almost died there. Um... Alright, let's, let's look at... We have anything we can equip? No, we don't. Of course not. Also, what I really should have done there is healed. Something I'm not very good at uh, in CUD is sort of anticipating death and then making intelligent moves to avoid it. I, I, I think run, yes, run. Run is great, but you know what is better is using your health, your, your, your like viable health options. Um, to, you know, get yourself back on your legs. Uh, let's see, what kind of... Do we have any abilities? Rebuke Robot. That makes me laugh every time. Um, we're, we're looking for stories. And we're looking for equipment. We're looking for things. I feel like we are amidst Red Rock right now. I don't necessarily want to be here. I think the Rust Wells would be a better place... I think that's where I was headed. We have ventured past Red Rock. Okay, let's uh, let's go to a re the Rust Wells. Okay, we have we have some uh, snap jaws. We have many snap jaws. One of the unfortunate things about doing an episode. Uh, and losing it is you don't know which what what you said 
and what you didn't say off camera. I, I might die here. Sprint time. I am bleeding, but I'm I'm fine now. Okay. Let's, we can take this guy on now. Uh, injured. Injured. Wounded. Badly wounded. He's dead. Okay, let's uh, let's start taking some gear. Oh, painted vine wood uh, sap mask. Very good. Um, we're not gonna bother with fur. So I, last time I I made the mistake of taking lots of things. Um. So let's look at this. Painted things generally have some kind of history to them. Uh, in 3257 BR, Sumid, Banyama Mafan, a Badafan's wife, died of natural causes. She was 118 years old. So we've learned about a sultan, uh, and we've learned of their death. They died of natural causes. I don't know if that's a good or bad thing. Maybe they wanted to die in combat or something. I don't know. Let's, uh, clip this mask. They, they had a dagger. Um, so we, we're, we're gonna... I saw some wire on the ground. We, we want that wire. I thought there was, like, an auto-get or auto-take. So yeah, using cover is is pretty crucial in CUD, and most roguelikes, I think, as well. Um, you can see, like, this, the, the people with, uh, or the, the snapjaws with, like, ranged weapons, you can see here. This guy's got a bow. They're, they're smart. They, they know they have an advantage, uh, so long as they stay away from you. And they're not that smart, because if I stand behind something, they'll come closer, and then I can, you know pummel them um but they're smarter than stupid so we're gonna we're gonna run until we recover a little bit hmm this could be a dangerous place oh this guy's neutral neutral Can I... I can't look at him. Uh, he's got, like, painted stuff. Sorry, I know uh, that's probably difficult to look at. And then we got a dude here. What's his deal? Mechanimus. So these, uh, these are good people. So I'm gonna move towards them. Make an offering. The Zealot yells, make an offering at the Argent Well. Pay homage to your fathers. That is the standard, um, you know, st standard sayings of the of the of the mechanimists. They they are a religious type. Let's see, they've they've killed things for us. Very good. That's why I moved towards them because I knew they were not going to attack me, but they were going to attack Snapjaws because no one likes Snapjaws. Ooh, four skin gloves. Equip that. Oh, don't equip that. We had steel gauntlets. Mm, uh, steel gauntlets are plus are, are two armor, but they're negative three to our agility, I believe that is, or our dodge. So mm, yeah, we'll we'll stick with the furs. I think that's actually better. Um, let's uh, we can trade. This guy's got some, uh, you know, ammo, which is fine. The machine commands that you exercise robots and bring their sacred husks here. This guy's got a wide-brimmed hat. Some vine, wa uh, vine wafer. Oh, that's the first guy I talked to. And we've got these. These are pretty pleasant creatures called Equimax. Musculature of this strapping tranquil beast is so pronounced that it 
he looks as though the muscles themselves might burst through his rich auburn coat. Great tufts of white hair surround this, his massive hoofs, which he rears every so often while he grazes. These things will absolutely destroy you, but fortunately, they are generally nice to you, so long as you do not anger them. Is this thing docile? Salamander. Oh, let's, let's not anger the salamander. So we can, uh, there's another snapjaw. Let's go ahead and kill. You can see, by the way, I, I haven't really talked much about the uh, interface of Cud. Oh, this guy had a painted dagger. Let's have a look at that. Uh, while wandering around... Oh, this is a um, scene from the life of the ancient sultan. Artax... Artaxerdates. Artaxerdates. Or Artaxerdates? I don't know. While uh, wandering around the jeweler's district of Irakesh, uh... Art Taxerdates stumbled upon a clan of winged mammals performing a secret ritual. Because of his foreign eyes, they furiously rebuked him and declared him a villain to their kind, plus 60 reputation with the terror of Ikawan flock. I'm not sure what that means. It's a nice, it's a nice thing. Let's take that. Uh, the nice thing about painted items is they're generally worth more. And also, the other thing is that uh, I was, I'm, I'm going to get back to talking about the interface, I promise. Um, whenever you learn a thing in CUD, um, it's generally... Um, hold on. Am I going to die? Uh, let's run. You, you just you want to play it cautiously in this game. Don't take, don't take chances. Chances get you killed. Okay, might die. Could, could potentially die here. Okay, we're good. Um, when you learn a thing in Cud about a sultan, about a history, a story, that's a secret. And secrets are also currency in this game. You can trade those. You can trade those with people and, and learn their secrets. And sometimes their secrets are very helpful. Um, they can be something benign. Um, but most of the time, they're actually very helpful. You know, location of a, of a cool secret lair um, with a legendary creature that, you know, might be legendary amongst their people, but are actually, like, you know, pretty easy to kill. And I say easy to kill because, you know... Chances are they're they're not uh, a kind creature. There's very few legendary kind creatures in God. So uh, learning about a legendary creature which is easy to kill is great because you can kill them and then you know gain their power. Um, I mean that metaphorically speaking, of course. So uh, secrets are great. That's that was the point of that tangent the interface of code uh on the top screen is a green bar that's my health uh, below that is a blue bar that's my xp um on the right is a dialogue which kind of relays all of the information of you know what i've done what i've passed you passed by a witchwood tree very good that's exciting um, and it's it can be useful to to read the right side to kind of parse out what is happening Sometimes very interesting and exciting things happen that oh That are hard to Kind of read Like for instance the snapjaw threw a grenade of acid and the acid exploded kind of thing like Okay, so This is something known, I, I can't remember, I think it's called like stair dancing. 
But basically, when you're confronted with this kind of situation... Um... Where there's many creatures surrounded surrounding you and you're on stairs, it's a good idea to go upstairs or down the stairs or wherever you're in the opposite direction, basically, of whatever is trying to kill you. We're not going to take the bark armor. Whoops. Um, and then you can fight them, essentially, on the stairs. And what this does is it basically creates a bottleneck where you're fighting only one creature instead of uh, four, twelve, fifteen. You know, many. Um, so that, that can be very, very helpful for your survival. We're, we're very close to leveling up. This might be it here. Yep. We're on level four. I don't think I've leveled up once. So let's do that. We have some attribute points. Whoops. Let's, um, maybe increase strength. Um, yeah. So that gave us, uh, odd numbers mean that if you increase it once, you will get another ability modifier. So this means, like, one ability point has now, you know, given me extra attack strength. Which can be very nice. Um, let's look at our skills. We probably... Are we using... We're probably using a cudgel. I, I picked the cudgel, um, package. see here. Sorry, I'm getting a little bit distracted. Oops. Um, what we want to do actually first, let's, yeah, let's put on that null worm skull. Null worm skulls are good. We don't have anything for that. We don't have anything for that. Okay. Hands. Oh, those are cracked. That will, you know, be, get better over time. Um, we have a better, something better for our body. Sure. Woven tunic. Sounds good. Should also get rid of, uh, I guess we can keep that. Um, now we want to look at our skills. So what, I just looked at it and I didn't pay attention at all. Um, steel mace. We're using a cudgel. So let's improve our cudgel. We're going to take bludgeon. We're going to take conk. We want to take we want to take a couple of attack things because that'll in, imp, imp, improve our uh, survivability quite a lot. We're also getting hungry, which may put an end to this episode, um, which is, you know, kind of unfortunate, but oh, we already have we already have uh, slam is shift C and then shift X. Very good. So I'll, I'll wait a little bit. I'll, I'll explore a little bit of rust wells. Um, but I will... Uh, we're we're going to make camp pretty soon, and then I'm going to end the episode there. And then we'll... Uh, you know, rust wells will be the next episode for... What is that? Janarth? Janarth? Why do I keep getting crazy names when I clearly pick something easy like Frankie? I picked something that I knew I could pronounce. I knew I could pronounce Frankie, and I got this name, which is a perfectly good name that I just I find very difficult to say. Um, so let's let's kill a couple things, and then I will make a camp. We'll we'll clear this first floor. We can slam things also. So let's slam. Welcome to the jam. See, we can. We didn't even take a scratch. Get a. Uh, take a scratch? Get a scratch? I, I don't know. I don't know what I'm saying. Listen, it's fine. We, we, did, we, we did good. That's what I'm saying. Can conk this guy? That ah, just killed. Spiders are actually kind of nice in this uh, game. I, I know that's weird. I mean, there's obviously some bad spiders. 
but um, spiders generally keep to themselves unless you corner them. Like this, this guy is not hostile, not really. It'll say hostile, but he's just kind of hanging out there. If I like come right up to him, then he'll start attacking me. Um, so you know, and they're they're pretty easy to kill. Cave okay, spider corpse. Let's kill this snap jaw. Get a hand axe. I'm taking weapons. Um, the, these, uh, you know, normal snap jaws I'm not so worried about anymore. Maybe I should be. But I, I'm pretty much one hitting them now. So that's good. Um, studded leather might be nice. I will take that. It's a lot of extra weight, but. Iron Maze. I'm pretty sure we were already using an Iron Maze, but never hurts to have another, an extra one. So there are the stairs down. There's some more things to kill. We're gonna... Yeah, see, so it's good to, like, you know, get behind something. Oh, that leather armor actually, I think, might be better than what we're wearing. I wish there was an easy way to compare. There probably is, and I'm just not very good. This is a great find. Um, so we have a bow now. We should get some... I can go back to the, uh, to Jopa and get some ammo for it. Oh, Do we have some ammo? We do actually have some ammo. We can kill. Eh. And now we cannot. Quilted shawl. Very good. Just gonna take some things until I can't take stuff no more. We're uh, we're getting pretty up there in terms of like how much uh, wire we need. How much wire do we have? Um, okay, we we need about eighty more uh, meters, inches. I I can I'm sorry, I don't know. We will murder this guy. And that might actually do it for this episode. Conk. He's stunned. Very good. Okay. That'll do it. Uh, let's make camp. I'm gonna whip up a meal. Nothing too complicated, and then we're gonna end end the episode there. Thank you for joining me. If you wanna uh, help help me out, even if you didn't watch the whole thing, um, you maybe wanna consider hitting the. I hate doing this. I really do, but hitting the like button. Maybe if you wanna see more, subscribe. I don't know. I don't understand how this works. Anyway, thanks for watching.